Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Have you ever had a case of action that would be reused in multiple forms in different resources? Today I will show you that example both in the project and in the code. And this comes from open source project called Laramant by Code with Dennis. It exists as a filament plugin, but it's actually not a plugin, it's a starter kit to start your filament project with some things pre-built and pre-configured for you so you can read all of that with configuration extra what is inside of Laramant. But I've looked at the code and noticed a few interesting things including generating passwords. So in the user's resource which is generated automatically in Laramant you go to edit and then this icon would generate the password for you then this happens the notification and then also confirm new password is revealed with the value set in both which is cool right but what is also cool if you go to edit profile of your own profile not editing someone else's user new password same thing same icon same behavior same result so wouldn't it be cool to have that action if you use it in multiple pages in one class, which then you would just call in each page separately to avoid repeating the same code. Let's take a look at the code. So here we are in the user resource of that project in the user table, or in fact, in the user form, we need to look at a few things. First, there's text input password and then text input password confirmation, which is visible only with condition of when the password is filled, then password confirmation automatically appears. And then the main thing I wanted to show you is this suffix actions on that specific field of password. And then that action is a separate class. So if we click here, we have app filament actions folder namespace with a class called generate password action that extends the default filament action. And then we fill in what is required for each action. So default name and then setup. We call the parent setup from the main vendor action. And then we extend this with whatever we want. So we set the icon, we set the color, and we set the actual, well, action. So we generate the password, then set the value of password and password confirmation field with that value and do notification make on top. So nothing really too fancy, but the action is separated as a separate class, which is then used not only in the user resource here, but also in another page, which is edit profile. Edit profile is a page which is in vendor in filament, but it is extended with another page called profile, which is not in vendor. It is an app filament pages. And then it is activated in the panel provider of filament by doing this profile class. So then in our custom profile, we do form. And in addition to the default components like name, email, and password and confirmation, we get that component from the base class and add, well, suffix actions, the same thing. So the default get password form component, which comes from filament vendor looks like this. So we return that text input, but also add suffix actions in addition to that. So it's the same thing, just part of that component is taken from vendor in case of user resource. All of that is not in vendor, it's just repeated almost the same thing in the form method of the resource. So yeah, an example of reusable action, what do you think? Maybe you would have done something differently. And I will link the source of Laramant in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.